Hi, this is Dr. Materi. In this video, we will demonstrate how to syringe feed a rabbit. Syringe feeding rabbits should only be done as directed by a veterinarian. It is important to find out why your rabbit stopped eating, as a lack of appetite may be a symptom of a larger medical problem. Rabbits should never be syringe fed if they have a hard distended stomach. This could be a sign of an intestinal blockage, and forcing food into the rabbit in these cases can lead to a ruptured stomach. Do not force feed your rabbit if they are extremely weak or lethargic, as they may breathe in or aspirate the food. Seek veterinary help immediately. When syringe feeding is determined to be appropriate by your veterinarian, ensure that you know how much you should be feeding and how many times a day to feed. If you have a very fussy rabbit, it is okay to give smaller feedings more often as long as you give the correct amount needed over the entire day. Our clinic syringe feeds Oxbow Critical Care to our patients. Please see our video on how to make the critical care mixture and fill your feeding syringe for details. Some rabbits like the taste of critical care so much they will gladly eat it off of the syringe, but this is not usually the case. Put your rabbit on a counter or coffee table with a towel underneath them. Rabbits don't like slippery surfaces. Make sure your rabbit is in a natural horizontal position with feet on the ground. Attempting to cradle your rabbit on their back during feeding increases the risk of aspiration. If your rabbit wiggles too much, go ahead and wrap them in a bunny burrito. You will want to use your non-dominant hand to hold on to the rabbit's head, so stand behind the rabbit, gently lean over them, and tuck them under your arm like a football to prevent them from backing up. Using your non-dominant hand, control the head by placing your fingers under the chin and your thumb on top of the head. Do not put pressure over the bridge of the nose or nostrils, as this could restrict your rabbit's ability to breathe. Rabbits are obligate nasal breathers. The tip of the syringe should enter the rabbit's mouth from the side. There is a toothless space called the diastema behind the incisors. Insert the syringe tip in this space. When feeding your rabbit, use your dominant hand to control the syringe. Once the syringe is in the mouth, push it a little bit deeper into the mouth, then slowly depress the syringe, letting your rabbit swallow the critical care at its own pace. Aim for the center of the mouth and not the back of the throat. Feed about one milliliter at a time. As you depress the plunger, Watch the measurements on the side of the syringe to make sure you are giving the right amount. Remove the syringe between mouthfuls to allow your pet time to chew and swallow. Forcing too much food into your pet's mouth or not allowing them time to swallow can lead to aspiration. Remain relaxed and gentle during the syringe feedings. Assisted feedings can be stressful for all involved, so speaking softly and continually reassuring your pet throughout the feeding can help make the experience as positive as possible. If your syringe becomes clogged in the middle of the feeding, remove the syringe from your pet's mouth and dislodge the clog before continuing the feeding. Even if your rabbit is not eating on its own, be sure to have its usual diet of pellets, hay, and fresh vegetables available at all times in the cage. When your rabbit is ready, they will start to eat on their own. For more information about how to syringe feed your pet, please contact our clinic. Thanks for watching.